Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The devil didn't do that sickness. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Pains on my brain. As you know, messed up my finger. I did it pretty good. Messed it up playing softball a couple of years ago. Fourth finger. Doesn't look at gin ginormous. Fourth surgery was last week. And so pains on my brain. And the devil didn't do the, the failed surgeries in my universe. And it wasn't that I, I, I didn't believe enough. Um, it wasn't that um, I had some certain sin in my life that caused the injury and the repeated surgeries not working right. Four surgeries on a, on a fourth finger. Who needs this? You know, and the last one didn't even work. Um, the devil didn't do it. See, so often when things don't go our way, we protect God by blaming the devil as if he has some sort of power in this. Sickness and pain comes from sin. That is the root cause. In the garden, if it wasn't for Adam and Eve's fall, there would be no sickness and no pain, no suffering and no death. But now there is sickness, pain, suffering and death. And God, who is rich in mercy, who loves us in the giving up of his son, takes the sickness, pain, suffering, and death in our world and uses it for our good. The surgeries don't work, didn't work for my good. Well, how do I know this? I know this because I have a father in heaven who loved me in the giving up of his son. If I were to just look at God apart from Jesus, I would be mad at him for not stepping to it and fi fixing this fourth finger of mine. But because I have a Savior, because I have one that died for me, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God works all things out for my good, even my failures, even when my body doesn't do what I want it to do, even the pain in my universe, even the sickness in my universe, even my death. It's, it's not de the devil's fault. And it's not a matter of me not believing enough or people not praying hard enough. All of that puts it back on me to be the determining factor of God's grace. And Jesus, Jesus is God's grace to me. And so I would invite you to take a look and to believe the first commandment, that God works all things out for good for you, that we have a good God in Jesus Christ. And when things fail for you, when you have aches and pains, when things don't work the way they should, when you're, when you're suffering, to remember Jesus. In some way, you share in his suffering. In some way, he's teaching you. You may not know the reason. You may pray to him to remove the pain, the thorn. And the answer you may get is, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. It may be about humbling you. Getting you out of the way so that you would need to rely more on Jesus. But whatever it is, it, it, it won't only be about you, it'll be about your neighbor too. Because God loves the people around you. And what an opportunity for you to confess him in front of them as well. But you don't, God didn't take a day off when removing the screws from my hand didn't stop my pain. God didn't take the day off when I shattered my fourth finger playing softball. Still made the play. God didn't take a day off when the surgeries didn't work. God didn't take the day off when my father's heart surgery didn't work. God didn't take the day off when my father fell asleep. God didn't take the day off when I fall asleep or when my loved ones will fall asleep. Because I have a father in heaven who gave up his son because of Jesus. It's not the devil's fault that bad things happen in my world. It's sin. And if he is, it, and you know what? If it is his fault, God's working good from it. So if you want to send me an email, like all the things that you are certain that, uh, that, that the devil is doing, think about this. You know what? Even if we granted that the devil did it, 
God still takes the devil and turns him on his head and works good from it. Think about Jesus. Think about Jesus in your pain. Think about Jesus in your suffering. Think about Jesus in your failures. Think about Jesus in your successes. For he works all things for good for those who love him, even death itself. I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>